you have to do is believe in, in, in Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. And guess what? According to the Bible, that is a filthy wicked lie, man. That is an abomination according to God. And the Lord is going to destroy you, man. And this is not my word. This is thus said the Lord, according to the Bible. Stop from the top one more time. Son of God, this is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The love of the Father is not in you. You say you love this world called America, man. The Most High is not with you. So you can pray all day long. The Most High is not hearing your prayers, man. They are your prayers are abomination according to God if you love this place called America. Because you're following after the lust of the beast, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. You're oppressive. This is his way of life. He can, this woman can be whole. He, he, he can do, his way of life is so filthy, filthy and wicked, man. He's not going to oppress and sleep with animals, man. That's wicked according to the Bible. And if you love this beast, you love his way. And the most high is going to destroy you off the face of the earth. That's why he told you this. One more time. Oh God, First John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in this world, man. Call America this society, man. This edgy society. Read. So oh God, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The love of the Father is not in you. Drop that. Give me Galatians chapter 4, verse 16, man. Okay, what our people need to realize, when we tell you the truth, it's the, it's, the, it's the fiction. We love you by telling you the truth. The Christian pastor, he hates you because he's telling you a lie. You, 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 you love the lie, hate the truth. But the truth is here to fix you, man. It's to change your ways so we can love one another as a nation, man. We can deal with, with each other in righteousness. But you don't know what righteousness is because you're stuck in the Christian church. In the Christian church, you're not going to get fixed there. Because the first thing the Christian pastor tell you is come as you are. And that's it. You're not going to get changed. You're going to come as you are, and you're going to stay as you are. If you come in the Christian church as a whole, you're going to stay as a whole. If you come in there as a crackhead, you're going to stay as a crackhead. Because the Christian church is not going to fix you, man. The Christian church is there to collect your tithes and teach you more lies and send you on your way to destruction. And this is why the Most High is going to destroy America and its pastors off the face of the earth. Christianity is not God's way of life, man. That's our destruction. Christianity is basically white supremacy, man. And this is why we stress a lot to come out of the Christian church. Learn from the priests and prophets of the Lord and the ISGPK, man. Come grab your fly and learn the proper breakdown and learn the truth. Get correction, man. That's what we need as a people. In order to fix our people, we must correct ourselves. And how you do that? By grabbing a flyer, man. Get correction from the priests and prophets of the Lord and the ISGPK on the commander general in your man. Grab my what? Read. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy? The Bible says, if I now therefore your enemy, let's see why. Read. Because I tell you the truth. Because I tell you the truth. When we come out here every Saturday to teach our people the truth, they think we are they are enemies, man. We out here for the love of blacks and Spanish and American Indians, man. Right, we right. love our people. Right. Because we tell our people the truth. Like we say, we, we'd rather for you to hate us and live because I tell you the truth. Then you to die and, and, and we continue and live and lie and I tell you a lie, man. You, I want for you to hate me for me to tell you the truth and live so you can fix yourself and you can be back here with us, man. Because we once was on the other side. We once was following this wicked society called America, man. Until we came and got a fly and learned from the priests and prophets. And now we out here giving back to our people to wake our people up so we can have proper brotherhood and righteousness under Christ, man. We gotta keep these laws, statutes, and commandments to fix our people. Because America's teaching us how to be a lawless people. America's stressing the, the law, uh, God laws are done away with. All you have to do is believe in the love, the blood of Jesus Christ, man. That's a filthy, wicked lie. And like I said earlier, the Lord is going to destroy this place on the face of the earth, man. Read from the top again. Oh, God. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth, they zealous. They zealously affect you, but not will. Yea, they will exclude you, that they might affect them. Right, Jordan, give me Titus chapter 2, verse 3, man. We got, we want to break out brotherhood and sisterhood, man, and scriptures to help our people. Because you sisters also need to hear this, man. Just because I tell the truth, am I your enemy? Like we just broke out in Galatians? We're going to tell our people the truth, 
Whether you like it or not, man, this is the Lord's words, man. If we don't tell the truth, we're going to be destroyed off the face of the earth. We got to give God's word. This is the only thing that can fix our people, man. Being, being Christian is not going to fix our people. Being a Muslim, being Islamic is not going to fix our people. Anything else other than God's word is not going to fix our people, man. We got to give this word a shot. You got to know what? Read. That's the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 15. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with God. No, 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 it's Titus chapter 2, verse 3. Titus, Titus 2 and 3. This the book of Titus, this the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. The aged woman also, man, you older sisters, man. You got to come back to this Bible so you can learn how to teach our young sisters how to be women, man, according to God. In that Christian church, you ain't going to learn nothing how to be a, a whore, man. You can come in the Christian church and be a sister and sit in the front row and think you're doing God's word because you're making a lot of money being a whore. The Most High said you, will be, you can't even enter the kingdom of heaven, man. You got to come back to this Bible. You got to come out that Christian church and fix yourself. You cannot be a whore. The pastor lied to you. That's why in the Christian church we have all type of sexual lust in there. We, you can hear the stories in the news, man, about these pastors sleeping with other men's wives, man. Their wives fixing the pastor's food, and they don't even fix their own goddamn husband's foods, man. That's wicked according to God, man. This is why we got to come out to the Christian church, and you sisters need correction, man. And we got to break it out because we love our brothers and sisters, man. We got to teach you the truth, like we brought out earlier. Am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Free. So what's up? Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Read. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Good things is the word of God, man. Not your own personal beliefs, man. The word of God. Read. But four, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands. Right, to love their husbands, man. That's the key point that we must realize, man. Our sisters right now, they hate they, they hate us as, a, as, as brothers, man. They quickly say there ain't no good black men out here, man. That's wicked because you're learning that daggone thing from the Christian church. You believe that you don't need a man. That's wicked and filthy according to God, man. The Bible says that it, it, it's better to have, I'm a paraphrase, is it better to have two better than one, man. You, you got to have somebody with you in this society, man. So if one falls, you can pick the other one back up. That's according to the Bible, I'm paraphrasing. But in the Christian church, you want to believe that you don't need a man. Because all you gotta believe in is the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's wrong in the face of God, man. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious. Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you, but it's four of us. They always scream squad, but loyalty just mean more to us. Let the 40s bust when it's time, unleash the hunters. I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners. Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous. Waiting on a hater to flex, we doing lunges. Rappers better give me respect, this be punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper, a toilet, I'm number two. Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo. Call me Tyler Warhol, either call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter. You had a good while to get your fares in order.